Hi YouTube friends, um, so it's Elizabeth back again with my 25 and 26 week bump date. Um, I have decided, I think at least for now, that I'm going to go ahead and just do every two week bump dates instead of trying to do um, a new one every week just because it would be a little boring and mundane to say the least. Uh, not a whole lot happens every week and I have a hard time um, getting everything together. Sorry, my dog is being insane. I'm trying to film. I just got home from work. So I'm really tired. And we've got first morning light coming in and I'm trying to find a good place to film that has light. So I'm in our uh, family room, which currently has the air mattress that we're using as a couch until the couch that we ordered comes in, which should be sometime in the middle of February. Um, but yeah, I apologize if you hear a lot of snorting and other fun noises. I have a pug. And that's the only excuse I have. And now she's running around like a crazy person. Zoe. She's insane. Anyway, um, so yeah, I have some notes I'm gonna go over with you guys. Just some basic stuff about the last couple of weeks. I am 27 weeks and one day when filming this. I'm not 100% sure when it'll get up and edited because I work again tonight. Um, but I have the weekend off, Valentine's Day. Hoo hoo hoo. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, so let's go ahead. Uh, 20 at uh, 25 weeks. I had a doctor's appointment. We're still doing doctor's appointment once a month at this point. Um, this was the first doctor's appointment where they measured my bundle height. It was measuring correct at 25 centimeters. I think they say plus or minus um, two centimeters is fine from my understanding. I obviously have only had one measurement and they didn't tell me anything except for that it was 25, which is what, what you would expect. Um, the fondle height is when they measure from the um, top of your pubic bone to the top of your uterus. And they wanna just make sure that that is appropriately growing. That's one way that they gauge the size of the baby. And that's how they gauge the size of the baby back before, you know, they had ultrasounds and all that other fun stuff. Um, so it should correlate with the weeks pregnant that you are. Um, I am up 18 pounds, which they said was good and fine. I kind of thought it felt like a lot, like that's a lot of weight to gain in, you know, six months. But they said that that was appropriate and that for my weight range and my BMI, I should be gaining between 25 and 30 pounds. So 18 was good just to keep exercising, which I don't do. And eating healthy, which I do try to do. Besides last night when I had piece of pie and a cookie but it happens okay he just you got to go with the moment um, I also got my order to take to the lab to get my gestational diabetes screen done um, the one where you drink that really nasty sugary drink uh, they wanted that done between 26 and 28 weeks so I plan on getting that done sometime this week so those were the big fun things at my doctor's appointment um, the the getting my fundal height measured was the first time that that's happened so that was exciting uh, and then it's just all the regular doctor's appointment stuff. Baby beat, they do your blood pressure, they dip your urine. You wait a long time for the doctor to come in and tell you that everything looks good. Um, so as far as symptoms my last two weeks, I have been a little bit more short of breath, which I think you can kind of tell just with me talking. Eating and breathing is not 100% easy and I am a nurse, so I eat very quickly as you have to do most kind of things for yourself when you're a nurse because sometimes you don't get very much time to do them. So that's one thing that's been a little bit difficult, uh, but I'm, I'm managing. I'm having that hip pain on my right side still. It doesn't really feel like sciatic pain. It's like more, it, it feels like bone pinching some must, I don't know what it is. I have a good, I'm gonna have a chiropractor appointment in the next week or two. Hopefully get that sorted out. I think I moved a patient um, more than I should have. And I think the extra weight from the pregnancy is making things a little bit more uncomfortable. It feels worse when I'm up and moving, but it also feels better when I move more, if that makes sense. So it's like that first getting up and moving is uncomfortable, and then the more I move throughout a shift, it starts to get a little bit better. And then towards the end of the shift, it does start to feel sore again. So I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a sciatic pain, um, but it's not fun. I have been feeling baby move a ton, a ton, a ton, um, which is really really exciting and uh i really have been enjoying that and i've been feeling baby have hiccups which is fun uh if you don't know if you ever feel like a rhythmic kick 
where it's kind of like a, a bigger kick. That's the baby having hiccups because when they have hiccups, basically their whole body kind of convulses um, in a very adorable way. But yeah, so that's the baby hiccuping and that's something that we can um, pick up, they can pick up on the monitor, which is really cool. Um, I haven't had it happen, but I've seen. Um, so baby wise, 25 weeks pregnant, she was the size of a Napa cabbage. I don't know what that is, but I assume it's a pretty decent size. Um, and 26 weeks, she was the size of a butternut squash, which I know is a pretty decent size. She is two plus pounds and 14 plus inches now at this point, which is so huge to think about. Um, and she's only going to get bigger because right now um, she's packing on fat. Basically, most of her organs are kind of doing what they need to do. And so she's just working on growing big and getting that extra layer of fat. So when she's born, she's like a little chubby Gerber baby. So uh, right now baby's hair is um, growing and thickening up and maybe even developing a hair color, which is exciting. Our baby will be bald. Um, so right now the baldness is just thickening up. I was bald till I was two and my husband was also bald. So I would not be surprised if this baby was a very, very, very bald baby, but I would like red hair too. That, that is on both sides of our family because I think redheaded babies are pretty darn cute, but, but the baby will be bald, so <laughs> I've come to terms with it, it's okay. Baby is developing a sense of balance right now, which is really cool. Um, and the baby is able to tell up from down and is maybe getting into position, hopefully head down to be born, otherwise um, uh, to get baby out, which is fine. However baby chooses to be born is okay with me as long as the baby is happy and healthy. And happy isn't even necessarily, I mean, they're gonna be crying healthy is important uh, for both me and for baby and baby's eyes are now also opening and baby is responsive to light so those are both really cool new things that the baby is doing um, so I'm gonna go ahead real quick and just show you a, uh, my bump and excuse me that's gross and I think that shall be it okay so this here is my bump currently I don't know how well you can see pull my shirt up so I'm wearing maternity leggings from the gap but the shirt is not a maternity shirt although it might as well be um, so that's from the side from the front from the other side so yeah that's what's going on currently um, we're growing 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 and I am very excited uh, to meet this baby soon. I know it's gonna be a while and the last bit is the hardest, but, and it still feels like May is a really, really, really long time away, but when I think about it, it's not that far at all, which is at the same time, both exciting and terrifying. I'm not terrified for the baby to be born. The being born part, I'm not too scared of, um, but the, being going home with a brand new baby and we're responsible with for the rest of our lives is kind of scary because I'm very comfortable with newborns. I work with them, but I am not, you know, I work with them. So, or I babysat before and at the end of that, you get to go home and there is no going home. Home will be where the baby is. So I just hope that we can handle it, but I guess you just make it work. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Keep you guys updated, of course, along the way. We've got quite a few more bump dates before that. Um, but yeah, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and just keep on checking up for new bump dates every two weeks or so. I am gonna try and film um, an anatomy scan video with tips, what to expect, kind of go over our anatomy scan results, reveal the gender of this baby, which I know is getting us excessively delayed. Um, I've got a maternity clothing haul coming up and uh, the nursery room reveal when that's ready, which might not be for a little while, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Bye guys!